When you watch videos that talk about why you should pursue ACCA, CFA and a lot of other finance qualifications, uh, you come across uh, a lot of the common obvious reasons. Having a qualification for security, it being well recognized, you get a higher earning potential, you can network with other candidates, etc, etc. And these are the common ones. But in this video, I'm going to tell you all five reasons, five practical reasons why you should do ACCA in 2024. I'm going to skip over the obvious ones. So hopefully there's something unique that you'll find in this video. Now, if this is the first time you're visiting our channel, please click subscribe. We create a lot of content like this to help candidates take up a career in the field of finance through qualifications. And as always, if you do find real value in this video, give us a thumbs up. Point number one, structured way of thinking. The ability to process a problem, have a structured way of figuring the answer, having learned techniques and tools to come up with quick answers, all of this comes through a rigorous, tedious effort of studying this qualification. So I think that having the ability to process things quickly in a step-by-step -step mechanism, in a structured way, because you've gone through the grind of studying these subjects and giving these exams, it's probably been one of my biggest strengths. And I hope that I've made sense, you know, in this. Everyone can study something obviously on YouTube for free. But the reason you take up professional qualifications and you pay for them is because they help you with a structured direction. And when you can have a structured approach, your brain can process things 40% faster, which means you're 40% more efficient. You're 40% going to make better decisions. And if you look at that compounding effect, if you take on, you know, if you're 40% better than anybody year on year or even better day on day, you are so far ahead, you know, an average person that the power of studying these qualifications should sort of end your, you know, if this should be enough for most of us to change our entire lives. Point number two, a vast array of different uh, subjects that we touch upon. So, for example, in ACCA, you, of course, we cover a lot of things in accounts, but it's not the basic accounts or the boring accounts, right? You learn through practical examples and you you understand how accounting standards have been created. You understand how management accounting is done and what is the reason behind it. And you can get to see it from a startup example, from a big company example. By the time you're ready to give the exam, you have understood the need of this subject in the real world rather than need to just pass the exam. And then you do this for accounts, you do this for finance, you do this for business. Uh, you can use all of this for your career, obviously, but also when it comes to personally investing, when it comes to looking at things outside of finance and accounts, but using these principles, these, these skill sets to apply to any other domain. Again, an example, when I enter a McDonald's or when I enter a movie theater, I'm so used to thinking about its economics, right? How many customers are there in it? What's the average ticket price? What would be the overall revenue per day? What would be the expense for it? I start thinking about different business models. It starts giving me so much of information all the time. And then when you discuss it with people, it sounds more interesting. You learn more. Somewhere or the other, it will help you learn so much about the actual world. You can either make a great living because you'll know how to invest. You'll know what is happening. Or better yet, you'll find ways to create your own career, to create your own passion of making money that all comes from you studying ACC. Point number three, you can see and understand business from the lens of finance. So this is a very interesting topic, right? You know, even if you work for an organization or you start your own thing or you have a family business, what you study in ACCA is a well-rounded approach to running any organization. So when I used to work in a CA firm, which is a mid-sized CA firm, then I was working at PwC. On the side, I had worked for an event management company and I had my dad's hospitality company, which I had worked for before I started Zell. What are the most important ways to improve the existing business or to start a new business? All of that understanding, a lot of it came from surprising parts of ACCA that I had no idea when I was studying was going to help me. There's a subject called performance management in ACCA. You would, I have no idea how. But one of that subject has helped me so much in making decisions in business. Financial management, obviously you think financial management is 
even in the examples in the textbook, they are all about large companies, but you can make it in your day-to-day -day lives when it comes to investing for yourself. Uh, accounting standards, right? How do you use it if you're not in accounts? But why accounting standards were created and how it's helping the real world, that understanding I can use in any decision I make and make my decision stronger because the source of where I'm thinking about all of this comes from something which is global in nature. It's applicable across so many countries and for all companies in the world. There's a paper called SBL, Strategic Business Leader. That teaches you about business. There's one big question of 100 marks and it's one massive case study of one industry. When, when you're studying for that, you'll study about different industries. You'll have to dwell upon not only the finance aspect of the company, but marketing, HR, operations, strategy, business models, employees, stakeholders. I don't know how it will ever come in handy, but the, it has helped me once again more than I could have possibly imagined back in the day when I was studying for it. Point number four, exposure. Now, if you take it up seriously, right, you will have to, like I said, touch upon so many subjects and you gain an understanding of so many different explanations, concept, case studies. You also tend to work in your PER which is your practical experience requirement. If you don't know, please have a look at the video. It's the experience you need to gain. I worked for a few months in Indian taxation. Just understood the basics of filing tax returns, etc. Then I worked for a couple of years in audit where I went into so many different industries. Hospitality, healthcare, uh, diamond. Then I got a job in PWC. All of this comes because of ACCA. So exposure will never be lackluster. You know, you'll never feel that there was no point in studying such a qualification. And lastly, global networking opportunities. I have some faculties who have shifted to Canada. I have students who moved to obviously Dubai, UK, Australia, Indonesia. I have those who've gone for a secondment to other countries. Secondment means that if you're working for, let's say, PwC India, they send you for a couple of months or a couple of years to, let's say, PwC US. And then they can call you back and everything is done on their paycheck. But you get exposure, you get the chance to travel, you get the chance to work in a different country. And God knows if you're good, then they might keep you there. But secondment generally means you have to come back. You meet people of different natures. You have so many of these conferences because you're a part of this global institution. And then of course, you have other candidates, other students who have now hopefully over time, uh, you know, some of our faculties are partners. Some of our faculties are at very... Uh, high positions in companies like National Stock Exchange. We have CFOs. So the amount of things you can, people you can meet and the things you can learn, uh, again, stem because you are part of an elite community. So I hope that this long, tedious video, uh, though it might seem to you guys, has actually given you all a more unique understanding of what beyond the usual jobs and salaries you can actually get by studying a qualification like ACCA.